All right, so what we have here is Booty Gecko. Uh, it's, very, it's a very small Linux kernel uh, with Gecko, the rendering engine from Firefox, running the whole shell for the OS. So naturally, the browser on here is Firefox, but what not, might not be as obvious is this is actually implemented in HTML. Um, all of the, the uh, controls for the browser are in, in HTML. So basically, as we've been engineering this, we've been asking, what can native apps do that web apps can't or haven't been able to in the past? Uh, the most obvious one as you start to implement a phone is making and receiving calls. So uh, here we have our phone dialer. Um, do you have a, a number I can dial? 3248. All right, place call. And if you answer that, we can... Hi there. You're uh, being called from the web right now. So, uh, what I just showed, um, all of this is, it, again, implemented in HTML and, CS and CSS and JavaScript. Um, probably the most interesting bit for uh, anyone that's uh, technical is the API we're using to uh, make and receive the calls. Let me see if I can click on that. Yep, wrong one again. There we go. So you can see here the code that is uh, registering this application as a re receiver of phone calls. It'll be notified whenever a call comes in. It can handle that. Um, just a little further down is all the code that handles generating uh, touchstones. So you can interact with all those banking websites, or uh, banking uh, phone numbers. And just here are the 12 lines of JavaScript that you'll need to make a phone call. Um, now this, uh, all these APIs are being uh, standardized through the W3C, um, so they should be coming to a, across all browsers um, in a matter of time. Uh, we can hop out, and one of the advantages of having the browser run so close to the metal is we can fully take advantage of all the capabilities of the hardware. Uh, for instance, this is one of my uh, favorite Web WebGL demos. Um, this demo runs really slow on my Mac and actually uh, causes the thing to get so hot that I can't put it on my lap. Um, I accidentally left this demo running in my pocket. Just turned it off uh, while I was at a meeting. Um, this sat there running in my pocket for an hour and when I pulled it out, it was cool to the touch because all of this runs on the GPU rendering and compositing um, and we can basically let the C CPU go to idle. Um, further proof that uh, running on the hardware is uh, advantageous as we can uh, in this gallery application show very high resolution images with smooth uh, scrolling in between and very vivid rendering. No lag. Um, we also have hardware decoding for HD video. <coughs> so you can get full, fr full frame rate uh, video using the power of the, uh, of the hardware of the phone. Um, and again, here's the source code. You could actually write this video player in three lines. That would be HTML, video tag, and then close HTML. Um, however, we have a couple uh, extra lines in here for pretty buttons. Still, it's a fairly simple program. Now, it wouldn't be a phone OS if we didn't have uh, games to uh, occupy your time. Um, this is the same sort of game you see currently um, written natively on phones or in Flash um, using all the, the libraries that, that make them uh, compelling. However, now we have uh, JavaScript libraries that can do the same sort of complex physics and, and rendering. Um, so you can have a very uh, interactive and compelling game written entirely on the web. Um, I know that uh, Cut the Rope has been uh, popular recently. So here's Cut the Rope, also running um, entirely using web technologies.
and we'll hop out and I'll show you one more thing. Um, I don't know how often you turn off your phone, but every phone I have right now uh, takes at least several seconds to turn off. Uh, this phone is off. Uh, booting up after we get through the uh, the bootloader. Or if the bootloader will come on after, so the bootloader is going to sit here with this watch screen for a little while. Um, but once it gets into the OS's boot, which was when the text goes away, right now if we can come fully up in about three or four seconds, and it's fully functional.